Hey, welcome back to John, our study in John. We are in chapter 14. So the overview of the chapter here is right before this, Jesus had just told Peter that he was going to deny him three times. That's like pretty discouraging, really. Um, but then he says, don't be troubled. And then he talks about why, because he's going to prepare a place for us. Jesus is going to prepare a place for us. And then the disciples are all confused, and they're not like, I don't know where you're going. How are we going to get there? And uh, Jesus says, well, I am the way and the truth and the life. And then he goes on to say that those who love him are going to do what he wants. And uh, then um, he's going to say, uh, he, he does a lot of teaching about uh, the Holy Spirit, which is awesome. So that is what happens in this chapter. Some principles or some things that stand out to me about God is that he knows what will happen and he knows what to tell us and what not to tell us. Like last chapter, he didn't tell Peter, uh, you're going to deny me, you know, and, uh, you know, that's like what he told him. And we talked about this last week, but he didn't tell him, oh, Peter, you're going to die for me. You're going to hang in there. You know, I'm going to do a lot of really cool things through you. He didn't tell him that. Yeah, he knew. He knows what's going to happen. And another thing is he gives hope and everything that we will need to live the life that he's called us to live. And he gives us, he goes to like huge, great lengths uh, to give us the Holy Spirit, to give us his ability and his comfort and his perspective and to be our comforter, to be our teacher and our leader. Like uh, that is really such an incredible gift. The Holy Spirit uh, in our very lives Jesus went to Great Lakes um, to make a way that we would be able to be filled and empowered by the Holy Spirit. So some principles are uh, we get the privilege of having the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we get to do greater in terms of scope and sequence things than even Jesus got to do, which is crazy, amazing, really, uh, the influence. And the Holy Spirit is all we need really, like his comfort, his ability, his perspective, his strength, like the Holy Spirit living on inside of us is all we need to live the the life God wants us to live. Uh, Another principle is to fix our eyes on what's to come. That's how he encourages Peter. Don't be discouraged. Like, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Like, he, he wanted Peter to have a bigger perspective just than not just this earth and not just this here and now, but really like the way long term he's preparing a place for us, perspective, heaven. And uh, the last one is that when we have Christ on the throne, he aligns our hearts to his. We start to desire and love and hate the things that he loves and hates and desires. And uh, we begin to think like him. Uh, So, uh that and then we'll begin to pray those things the very his very heart when we have Christ on the throne um we'll end up praying that they're very things that he wants us to pray so personal application for me is to not be discouraged in the things that I'm trusting God for if the results don't turn out the way that I hoped for or dreamed of uh, but to trust that God's Um, doing what he wants to do and eventually the scope and sequence is going to be much more than I could even think or imagine and to keep my eyes on Jesus and what's to come not on here and now not on results or what um, the world defines as success but to keep my eyes fixed on him so let me know uh, in the comments below what stood out to you from this chapter chapter 14 of John 